<laughs> All right. Hey, everybody. Are we ready? I don't know if we're ready for this. I'm about to uh, unveil a little bit of Star Citizen dogfighting module Havoc or possibly Crash and Burn. We'll see. Um, just making sure everything's working. It's obviously loading up still, um, but I'm going to jump in a, in a moment and let's have some fun. I'm not going to do any music. I'm just going to have it kind of run and uh, let, let, let's see where we we'll go from there. So, here we go. Um, for anybody who's trying to chat with me, go ahead and try to chat in the, in the actual Twitch channel so I can see it while I play. Um, I actually decreased my graphics really quick to like the lowest setting to, to make sure everything's good, especially when I'm broadcasting live here. Um, it looks like I already have my helmet on, which is kind of cool. But if you press this, see, that's that's your helmet. So if you want to do the dogfighting module, you have to walk over to this little pedestal and put your helmet on before you get in your ship. So it looks like I have two ships. Um, I don't know which is which, really. I actually haven't been in my hangar in a long time. I'm gonna go on this ship. Not sure which one has more weapons or which weapons to choose, but I'm just gonna go. What the hell? Let's go. Let's do this. All right, in the ship. All right, there we go. Whoa! Come on, there we go. I love how my arm right goes right through the. Uh, Right through that. Here we go. Should start it up in a second here now. No? No? Where's the menu? Where's the menu? Okay, since I'm not seeing the menu, I'm gonna try my other ship and see what's going on with that. My guess is this is the ship that I purchased. And therefore, that's why it's in the hangar. And I'm guessing the other ship is the one that they give you for the dogfighting module. That's just my guess. I actually haven't read up on that. I'm sure people could kind of help me uh, with that. But I'm going to try this one. This is probably the dogfighting module one. I need, you need to, why, what's the title say? Uh, you should refresh it. I changed it already once. Let's see, let's see, let's see, and, ah, Arena Commander. Actually, I probably should have called that the title. Alright, well, somebody says I need a, to fix the uh, title, so I'll do that really quick. Um, t -t 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 going into Twitch, going into Twitch. Got to fix my title, and oh yeah, it does say I'm flying. Pfft, that's not right. Um, okay, obviously got to fix that. Change it to the correct title here. Give me a moment here. This is not correct. Star Citizen Arena Commander Alpha. Give me a moment here. What does that do? Not sure. Looks awesome. Broadcast updated successful. We heat the room to 110 degrees. Huh? Okay, so now I'm going to close that. And here we go. Oh no! Okay, well, it's alright. Uh, it's not, you don't have to play online anyways. I'm gonna go right with the Vandal Swarm. I'm, I'm not even gonna mess with the, with the other stuff. Alright, so what I'm gonna try here first is an Extreme 3D Pro Logitech controller. Um, I'm gonna try to fly around with this thing. I did look at the controls briefly that they had, brief, uh, that they had set by default. It does not seem like you can actually customize it as of yet. Seems like they have like, you know, set controls. I just fixed it.
<laughs> oh yeah, okay. So um so here we go. So basically um I got all everything all set up here. I actually was almost curious. I, I feel I feel like there is going to be a better advantage to use an Xbox 360 controller with this specific game because of the uncoupling and decoupling modes. Because when I was looking at the uncoupling and decoupling, it seems like you have less control with the Extreme 3D Pro um, joystick. So meaning you kind of need two joysticks. Welcome to know. Robert's Space Industries. All right, here we go. Enjoy the ride. System check. Vandal Swarm initiated. Vandal Swarm initiated. There are multiple hostiles inbound. Alright. See how bad I'm at this. Radar contact. Vandal Swarm. Ooh. Stand by. Oh, oh my Scanning. gosh. I'm getting some static already on my headset. I'm not sure why. Okay, here we go. See if I can figure this out. Oh, yeah. See, I'm lagging. I'm lagging. That's alright, though. Expect as much lag. Oh, what the... Alright, I got you. I got Yeah, see, look, I'm already... Because the twist is what messes it up. Whenever I twist my joystick, it's it's a totally weird effect. It, like, goes 100% in one direction. Oh! Okay, got him a couple times. He got me more, I think. Alright, come on. I can get him. I'm gonna match his speed. Get behind him here. See, I'm lagging too much. I don't know if you can tell, but like I'm skipping around quite a bit. All right, full speed ahead here. Oh, what the heck? See, I twisted the joystick and I lost control. It's almost like it reminds me of uh, when I played uh, War, uh, War Thunder for the first time. Whenever you twist the joystick, you couldn't you couldn't target anybody. See, like that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. I'm twisting the joystick. You see how much it affects me? It's just ridiculous. It goes like it. It's it, uh, the sensitivity on the twist is way too high. Honestly, I think they should just get rid of that completely. Ah, I'm gonna have to go into de decoupling mode in a second here to see if I can get a good tail on him. Look at that, I twist a little bit. Obviously hitting him. Ah, I'm twisting! Impact. Oh. Yeah, he almost hit me. Come on. Alright, so now what I can do is I can unplug my joystick and try the mouse out, but the lag is pretty bad. I can't, um, get a solid yeah. lock on him. I can't get a solid lock on him because whenever I twist just a little bit, it's the motion that it gives me is like, um, yeah, I don't know, like here, here's me twisting just a notch. Look at that. Twitch another notch. It's, uh, way too powerful. Of a motion. Right, I'm going zero speed. Now I'm increasing. All right, now I'm switching to mouse and keyboard. See if it's any better. I'm getting a little annoyed at the static that's in my. Impact. Oh. 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 <laughs> That obviously was a problem. Stand by for reintegration. I'm getting a lot of static on my Welcome headset. Welcome to Robert's Space I'm Industries. Turn it off and turn it back on and see if Enjoy it the ride. fixes it. System check. Radar contact. Okay, so the mouse and keyboard didn't seem any better. Alright, yeah, I'm still getting a lot of static in my head in my surround sound headset. I wonder, are you guys getting a static on the stream or no? Can you guys hear it or no? Stand by. Scanning. Alright, I'm being really careful with my controls now. I'm gonna try to use this joystick. Oh my gosh. Maybe I just need a new controller. I mean, it feels like my... 
Stand by. Scanning. Maybe I'm just not used to the twist motion. Maybe I'm going 100%, or maybe it's... Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to try an Xbox 360 remote. Just because I'm sure I'll, I'll probably look online for a fix to this twist problem, but which I've done with you know War Thunder. But the fact that they don't give you ways to customize your controls in the settings is kind of annoying. Ah, there we go. Come on, I'm getting them. I'm just being a little bit more, a little bit more light on my. Uh, Impact. Oh, what's trying to hit me? Whoa! I wish I had rockets. I'd shoot the heck out of these guys. Stand by. Scanning. A couple times. Come on. But the, there is a little bit of lag. Uh, I don't know if it's because I'm streaming. But there is definitely a, uh, the lag is definitely a killer right now. But like, I'll go in one motion and it won't respond right away. You know, the controls are sluggish. And I think that's because of the lag. So I haven't tried to actually activate my second uh, graphics card. But I will try that soon. I think I actually just beat that guy pretty good. Oh! See if I get some good more, a couple more good hits on him. Where the heck did he go? All right, you're not getting away from me. Oh, overheated my laser. I damaged. I think is. Uh, I'm gonna just. Impact. No, I don't want to hit you. He's almost dead. I think he's trying to suicide me. Ooh, buy some asteroids. Gonna hit my afterburners and get out of here. Impact. Whoa. Okay, 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 okay. I can get this guy. Come on. He's almost dead. How's the stream look? Is it skipping a lot on the stream too? talking about. Alright. Even with the lag. I think is he the enemy I killed? Or what is that? No, I think I think it just automatically went to the next target. Oh, asteroid. Sometimes the asteroids, if it, it the lighting on them can be kind of funky. So oof. So you can sometimes you like you can't see it. So I don't know if you guys know but I am increasing and decreasing speed quite a bit attempt to get behind them so they fly by me and then I can get behind them like this. So let's see what we got here. Oh. No! Whoa, 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 whoa. Looks like one of my allies just got taken out. Alright, let's see this here. I can this guy. No, I can't. Alright, I'm gonna afterburn. Come on, I can get to him. Oh, I'm overheating my lasers. It seems like he's trying to get away from me. Oh, losing control. All right, here he comes. It's hard to see him in the, the way that he's facing. All right, he's going after my other allies, so if I should be able to get behind him and just... Let loose. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Come on. You are approaching simulation boundary. All right, come on, come on. Increase. Nice shooting. 
There we go. Alright, look at that. Let's blow him up a little bit more. No? Oh, wave two? Oh! Jeez, I ran right into it. Radar contact. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna pause it for one second here. I'll be right back. Let's see if it pauses it. Oh, it does. Alright. Okay, I'm back. I'm back. I, I, I see the I see the command to play, um, and I am going to play. Oh my god! Oh my god! Excited. So what do you think? It's what you asked me. Um, what do I think so far? I think it's pretty good. I don't like the lag, and I don't like you know. But those are bugs that I think they can fix over time. Stand by. Like, oh, it's Scanning. pretty terrible right now. The lag is killing me. Um, so I'm gonna look into that and see if I can do some fixes to it. 
If there wasn't any lag, I'd be super happy because like every, it's definitely difficult enough that I can't really get a good target on them. Um, but it's also, you know, I'm at the lowest setting of graphics, so I'm guessing if I increase the graphics, it would look really good. But the frames per seconds are killing me right now. Like it's just it feels sluggish because of the, you know, because like I'm it's taking a second for my controls to be recognized, you know. So it's, you see how crazy I go when I'm moving around. That's because I. Can't, that's because I can't really. Uh, Stand by. Control Scanning. it very well. Impact. It's not you lagging. That's that's the lag I'm talking about. <laughs> no, it's just the game's lagging. I mean, the fact that I can actually kill somebody uh, with this amount of lag is actually surprising to me. Uh, where is this guy going? All right, come on. I gotta get a good target on him. Alright, come on, come on. Ah! I got him. I got him. Yes, but if I can get this working really well without lag, it's gonna be amazing. Which, you know, that's my job. I'll figure it out. I will figure it out. It probably needs an update here or there by a graphic card update. Ooh, I got some damage. I think it's going down. By the way, the static stopped on my headset. I don't know. That's yeah, happy. At least one thing got fixed. I mean, there's, there's going to be a lot of bugs. I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to be upset with the bugs. And the lag, I'm not going to be upset. They can probably got a lot of things to do to... Shoot! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I got a baby girl on my on my shoulder. Oh, can I get this guy? I think I can take him out. Come on. Alright, I'm going to get a boost. Uh-oh. I got a girl grabbing my... No, he's going past me. Alright. Increase full speed. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. No! Almost hit me again. <laughs> what is she doing? <laughs> oh, she needs to be fed a bottle. Oh, okay. So I gotta feed a girl a bottle in a second here. Uh, I'll try to kill this guy at least. That I'm on. Oh, I just lost him. Come on. No, 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 no. Come on. There we go. I've hit him a couple times. See, the biggest key is to is to get a bunch of hits in the same spot so the shield goes down. Impact. Woo! It's close. Oh, something hit me. That's the first time I think I've been hit. time getting a target on this guy. Skipping all over the place. Yeah. Um, it's constant lag? What kind of lag are you talking about? Because, I mean, I am getting constant lag as well in the game. So it might just be what I'm seeing. <laughs> Come on. Damaged him really bad. He should be almost down. Man, he's 
should be almost gone. I've also noticed, I feel like they've gotten rid of the uh, tunnel vision. Or maybe I just don't go fast enough, but I have not seen any tunnel vision, even when I do the full speed turn. See, that's weird. I wouldn't even have to train. Impact. Uh, Try decoupling action. I'm gonna decouple in a second here. Decoupled. Oh, I can't shoot when I'm decoupled. Interesting. That's not gonna work for me. Impact. I mean, he's missing me more than I'm missing him, so... Uh, I'm surprised he is still alive after his amount of damage I put into him. Controls are a little too clunky for me. And maybe it's the ship. What do you think so far, forever wise? You get pretty consistent lag even right now. Like, are you seeing things flying around? I can reduce the quality to 720p instead of 1080p. That might help a lot. Here, let's do that really quick. Downgrade it. I'm going to downgrade it to 720p. Uh, settings, video, 720p, apply, okay. Alright, so I downgraded the quality. See if it's any better for you. I'll take about. 